Welcome back, everybody, to Donkey Kong 64. We're two hours and 40 minutes on our file. And let's get this. Let's get this show on the road. First things first. I'm gonna get Tiny out here. Take Banana Port Numero Cinco. Because, as I pointed out earlier, there's a golden banana just sitting right here. And all you have to do is shoot a feather at it. And it will be yours as tiny. That was quick. Right, now I'm going to get Lanky Kong out. Take Banana Port 1 where we'll go ahead and take care of the uh, Kalumzi cutscene. And that will be just magical. So that'll unlock key number two. And as you're gonna see in a moment, the Kalumzi jumping for joy will actually cause two world entrances to open up. So that right there, that goes to the lobby for World 3. And that little gate, that goes to the lobby for World 4. We'll come on to that in a minute. First. We go behind this thing here. There's in fact a grape switch. So yeah, everybody has, like, their little weapon switch to get a golden banana on the DK aisle. That one just happens to be Lanky's. Alright, now through the powers of editing magic, I'm gonna show you something really cool. Right then. Now for something to show off. Let's showcase this here. I'm actually gonna try and get into World 4 before I'm supposed to. I picked up those two golden bananas, that, but that only brought me to 29. And as we're gonna find out, the one for Glimmer's Galleon here, which is, uh, World, uh, World 4, requires 30 golden bananas. You stupid or something? You punk! I'm Lanky Kong. So what you gotta do here is get as close as you can to be locker here. Preferably, like, from the side. This may take a few tries. It's like, do your regular three hit combo and you'll get in! Fuck you, B Locker. I'm Lanky Kong, bitch. Anyway, this is spoilers because I don't want to do this world yet. Editing magic! And it's like that never even happened. Right, I'm actually going to take, uh. Donkey Kong up to uh, the entrance to World 3 because there is a thing I can get as him along the way. Which will be nice. So as, I, as soon as I can figure out how jumping mechanics work, which is kind of awkward. There we go. We're just gonna keep spinning up around here, and eventually... We're gonna reach a fork... ...and a little gap. Yeah, going up this way... ...going up that way will take us to World 3. However... ...very easy to miss... Down here, 
is a coconut switch, which you can get for a golden banana for Donkey Kong. Very easy to miss, because it's kind of... It's kind of oddly placed. But whatever. The only thing that sucks about it is you have to do the whole... The whole shenanigan of getting back up there again, but... Such is life. So now... We're gonna finally get to... A world that I, I in particular like. I like uh, level three here, which seems to be a popular opinion. This is this seems to be like a fan favorite level, at least in uh, the limited DK64 experience that I have. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Now I have to find a ladder. Where is that ladder? Wait, no, I don't need a ladder. I can just get up there, and there's a banana port 4, which will make getting up here easier. And now, we will actually be doing the levels in their proper order. This little thing here we'll be dealing with later. There's question mark box here. Let's go ahead and ground pound this here. Or not. I forget what you need to do for that, but eh, we'll worry about it later. So we have double the requirement for this level here. And now the cutscene that I actually want you to see. It's Diddy Kong being a badass. As he kind of tends to be. Like, they really should have called the first Donkey Kong Country game Diddy Kong Country, because there's very minimal usage of Donkey Kong when you're playing that game properly. But here we go, in the game's third level, Frantic Factory. It's all about the joys of a toy factory, from production to research and development and everything. And Chunky Kong, our final Kong friend, is here. And it won't take long for us to rescue him, as we will soon find out. The first thing you should do is hit this little switch here. which will cause this little thing to open up. And that's dandy. I'll get hit by these mecha things. I'm not cognizant of the uh, of the actual names, so bear with me on that. Don't jump all the way down here. Well, I guess the worst you can do is one damage, which you know, it's it's just kind of there. Ouch! That critter can be kind of hard to see. And now we are in the production room, the lower level of this place. As you can see, there's four sort of levels to this place: production, lobby, testing, and R and D. That'd be research and development. But also on this floor, if we head on over here, is the storage room. Storage room is where we're actually going to find Chunky. We'll actually be able to save him here momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and activate Banana Port 1. So that'll have that connected. Need out Lanky Kong, because Lanky is who we need in order to save this Kong buddy as we need to get up there using the orang stand. There we go. It would help if uh, the camera would cooperate. 
All you gotta do is hit the switch after getting up there with the orang stand. Down goes the chunky cage, and now we can play as him. His color is green. And actually, the way this is set up, this will be the first world in the game in which we can 100% it on the first pass, which is exactly what I plan to do. Now we'll hit this switch here. That second switch will open a passageway in the first area. In the opening area, as I like to call it. Why the opening area mean that specific? I don't know. Alright. Let's get some moves. So we're gonna get Lanky's second move here, which is a pad move. Which is called... The Balloon... The Baboon Balloon. Or Baboonus Balloonus. Yeah, they weren't really trying very hard that day. So basically, if you find a pad with Lanky's face on it, press the Z button and you'll inflate yourself just like a balloon. Alright. I'm gonna switch over to Donkey Kong because that banana balloon is just going to bug me otherwise. Get in a good spot here. Lion wait. That was not good. I play shooter good. And I'm not too worried about my ammo because. The first of two uh, ammo extensions is actually available in this level. We'll come on to that later. But first, we're going to get Donkey Kong's third move. It costs seven coins. It's the Gorilla Grab, the Simium Stranus. Remember the little lever I pointed out a little earlier? Well, now Donkey Kong is going to be able to interact with them by finding them Standing on the footplate and pressing B. Alright. We will continue the move extravaganza with Diddy Kong. Yours for seven coins. So Diddy Kong's third move is the Simeon Spring, the Leapus Largium, and it, too, is a pad move. So you'll press Z on a pad with Diddy Kong's face on it, and you'll jump really high. About as simple as that, really. Alright, time for Tiny Kong. Let's get Tiny Kong's second move here. Tiny Kong's second move is the ponytail twirl, the round and roundest, round and round. Love will find a way, just give it time. Basically, it's probably the best move of the entire game. Essentially, I will demonstrate it here because it's so fun jump and you twirl around in the air much like uh, Tiny's bigger sister uh, Dixie Kong. So now we have Chunky Kong here. There are five golden bananas in here for you too. Actually before I go in there I probably should have just picked up those uh, silly me. I keep forgetting I don't have enough coins as Chunky. I should have 10, so let's get take me to 15. Again, that was a result of uh, getting two dirt piles for the banana bunch coins uh, 
before unlocking Chunky. Which, it's very nice that, uh, they allow that to, uh, give coins to Kongs you haven't unlocked yet. That's very convenient. Okay, now I should have enough coins for both Chunky's instrument and Chunky's first two moves, because you can buy the first two moves right away for Chunky Kong, which is nice. And so we get Chunky's instrument, the Triangle Trample, the most manly of all the, the instruments, the Triangle. Maybe we'll just go on on the same spiel. And we'll get two moves for Chunky. First up, we have the Hunky Chunky, the Kremlinus Crush Him, which is a barrel move. Basically, you know how you have Mini Monkey as Tiny Kong? Hunky Chunky is the opposite. You turn giant at the cost of Crystal Coconuts. And for five coins, we can go ahead and get Chunky's second move, which is the Primate Punch, the Sandwich Him Knuckless. Give him a knuckle sandwich with a really powerful punch by pressing, uh, by holding Z and pressing B. It's got a huge windup, but does a lot of damage, and certain obstacles can be destroyed with the primate punch. And that's the move roundup for this world. So I'm gonna keep Chunky here. Demonstrate the power of the primate punch. You do like a falcon punch type thing. There we go. Ground pound this box. Reveal a switch. Thus a banana will appear. Actually, no, that's the wrong button. I'm gonna go ahead and do a screen nuke on the... on the zingers that above me, that are above me, rather. Just so I don't have to worry about them for this here platforming section. Because these platforms move rather strangely. Just keep the camera behind me. Perfecto. I suppose I'll go ahead and open this up here. Five coins for everybody. So much stuff to do. Another thing I can do is do a barrel blast course. Now, unlike an angry Aztec, there's actually collectibles up here. I believe there are four banana bunches here worth uh, 20 bananas. So make sure you pick them up. And make sure to be extra careful. This will return you on a little loop, so you see there's like a little target to aim for up here. That'll allow you to go into a barrel beyond, and allow you to finish the course. Excellent! And that opens up probably the most infamous thing in this entire game. We'll come on to that! And trust me, I'm not looking forward to it myself. Just, just throwing that out there. I forget, whose is this up here? That is Diddy's. Okay, just making sure. I was pretty sure it was Diddy's, but... You know, had to make 100% certain. Just do our cartwheels here. 
let's see what's up here. Couple of coins. That's what I thought. Oh, that's the way we came in. Let's go splat as that. That's, uh, Tiny's. Guess we can go ahead and take care of that now. Get rid of Tiny's Kasplat here. Whoops. Ouchie. That's no good. There we go. It's like, yeah, you just have to get a specific amount of damage in, in a certain amount of time. And this is the room with that... that thing, that evil thing. We'll get on to that. However, first... We have something to do as our mini monkey. And that is to go all around the place. Specifically here. And going through this little mini tunnel here will allow us access to this here golden banana. First one in this world as tiny. Hey, what's over here? A uh, thing for Chunky. Fair enough, I suppose. I suppose I should get that thing out of the way. <laughs> 